Hey YouTube, this is Alice at Wonderland Speaks. I am doing my daily keto weigh-in. And it is day, day number eight. Hey YouTube, this is Alice at Wonderland Speaks. And I'm attempting to food prep keto style and i'll tell you something i can't speak for anybody else but this is a lot of work so um what i've got here is it was inspired by i guess keto i, I don't know but i made this um this is actually um it has in it, uh, it's a bird's eye garlic chicken, and I got some, um, some mixed vegetables. Let's see, that's bird's eye, uh, I can't pronounce that Italian, but it's bird's eye garlic chicken. What I did was I rinsed it off because it was frozen, and I took the noodles out. And so it was just a dry mix. And I made my base from um, organic vegetable broth. And a half a carton of this um, beef broth, which is Walmart brand. And also this collagen, you know, they're famous for their chicken broth. But uh, collagen uh, one pot meals. And that's just a um, chicken broth base. Basically, it has everything in it that you'll need to make whatever it is you're making. But, of course, I always have to add my own. And so what I did was I put, because it was so bright, it inspired me to, I put diced tomato and some mandarin oranges and uh, some seasoning, of course. And it gave me this beautiful, beautiful. Now, in that bird's eye bag, it came with everything. Everything. Everything was in there. I love a lot of broth. So, I don't need anything else. And as you can see, this looks, I mean, it looks. It's beautiful. And those chunks are not potato. Those are pineapple. And since I'm supposed to be doing meal prep, I also have here some mushrooms that I'm going to saute. As you can see, they've been washed and these were extremely dirty. This is two packs of, uh, I couldn't find a portobello. So these are the lighter ones. I've got some uh, seasoning on these, some salt, pepper, and probably some onion powder. And, of course, you see I've got some uh, butter in there. Since this is supposed to be very high fat, I've got, these are carrots. And, yes, they're canned carrots because I didn't buy any, um, I didn't buy a lot of fresh stuff. Unless I knew I was getting ready to use it, then I didn't. So I looked in my cupboard and I came up with, I had, I have a lot of canned stuff. So these are um, baby carrots and I've got um, seasoning and green beans. As well as I've uh, washed and peeled um, and cut up, of course. These are sweet potatoes. And I've seasoned them. Now that glob you see there, it's the infamous glee. <laughs> I left the spoon in it because I'm still cooking. So that, I, of course, I sprayed all my pans. This one um, sprayed all of them with Pam. And as I said, they've been cubed and cut up. And I put... I squirted some lemon and there's some zest. That's what those flakes are, lemon zest. And um, 
there's parsley and what else salt pepper i think oh and i put a little bit of honey that's what's on this spoon over here i've got the infamous uh salmon and as you can see i've got lime i've squirted lime and lemon and there's salt, pepper, onion, and I've got, um, what did I do with it? I must have put it up. That's a mango sauce that's on that salmon. And I've got here, of course, this is chicken. I've cut it up. Usually I just cook it, the whole breast, and then cut it up. But I said, okay, I'm going to do like I've seen on so many of these keto food preps. And I'm just going to cut it up because I know... That's supposed to make it easier to cook. And uh, let's see. Right now, I think that's it. These are my primary seasonings, of course. Um, parsley flakes. I use some rosemary. Of course, the um, onion powder. And I've got some uh, savory poultry. More poultry. Of course, paprika. And the meat tenderizer. Now, I kind of like to use that because sometimes meat that you don't think is uh, going to be tough turns out to be tough. So just to err on the side of caution, I uh, use a uh, meat tenderizer. And let's see. Of course, this soup is... Um, I don't know. I would imagine there's at least seven or eight servings. So this is going to be either a breakfast or a lunch item for the next six days. And let's see. Okay, this is the uh, sauce. This is bitten creamy mango. So, um... I'm also going to do, for breakfast, I think I'm going to do a quiche, um, I think. I don't know. I got a lot going on here, so I'm not really sure. But I've got these, um, I've got these uh, dried vegetables that basically have, let's see, They've got onion, mushroom, you know, all the uh, vegetables that, you, that I would need to do what I'm going to do, which is make, make uh, some, probably some little mini quiches. And, uh, but I can't start that yet. So, I just wanted to give you an update and those infamous, um, oof, these are the, um, those trays people don't show you this but when you buy this stuff you know you got to bring it home and at least rinse it out so I put it in the dishwasher and that's what this is me rinsing off these uh what the hell happened here I think I'm gonna have to run these back through there's so much going on here but anyway that's uh that's that's where I'm at with um, with the meal prep. 